G'day guys, as uh, some of you will know a few days ago, I got this ridiculous instrument which is a mellophone in the key of E flat. What I thought I'd do today is do a bit of a comparison video between a mellophone in E flat and a flugelhorn in B flat. Uh, before I get started though, I will apologise about the background hum. Um, me being a bit of a techno nerd, I have a server rack in uh, the corner of my garage running a bunch of Dell PowerEdge servers so there is a little bit of noise so I do apologize for that. Anyway, so let me just start off with some uh, bass differences between these two instruments. Firstly there's the key. This one's in B flat, the same pitch as the trumpet. This one's in E flat which is a perfect fourth lower. Secondly there is a quite a big of a bit of a size difference. The bells as you can see are ridiculously different. Um, but I've done videos on both of these instruments separately, so this is not really going to focus too much on uh, the cosmetic differences of the instruments. This is more going to focus on uh, what the sound, the tonal differences between the two, uh, or at least the differences as well as my microphone can pick them up. Um, I'm going to start with a couple of scales because I can transpose scales. So the differences um, as they come through on this recording uh, are going to be fairly obvious to you guys, but how they feel in this exact environment is this has more of a full sound. The sound on the flugelhorn mainly travels to my ears, but the sound on the instrument I can feel is a pressure on more of my body. Just, just a tiny little, it's just a tiny presence that you notice when you switch between the instruments in the manner I've just done. Um, but it, it, it creates more of a full sound, as is to be expected when it has a bell this size. What I shall do now is uh, play a, a piece of music that I played uh, when I demonstrated this instrument uh, in its own little video, but I'll play um, a couple of bars on this, a couple of bars on the, uh, on the flugelhorn, and just alternate uh, after the end of every sort of microphrase so that you can get um, an idea of the differences in tone between these two instruments. Hopefully this video serves as a reasonably useful overview of the tonal differences between a mellophone and a flugelhorn. Thanks very much for watching. 